Make sure the printer is off before you start to work on it. Next step, like this and like that, and remove term cartridge. Um, I don't expose it to UV for that long. I actually put a, a towel right over it. That way it doesn't get damaged. Once that has been removed, we're gonna remove the screw that's in here. Then we're gonna remove this piece. The next thing we're gonna do is loosen up this screw. It's gonna to be a total of two. One and two. I forgot to mention, um, make sure to remove the toner before unscrewing those two screws. Once they're removed, you can remove this piece. Put that to the side. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this piece this way. So we're going to pull it and then make sure you pull, make sure it's even so you're not forcing it. And after that, you're going to want to go ahead and turn it uh, 90 degree angle. But before we do that, let's go ahead and disconnect that connection. And now we can proceed by moving that connection out of the way, returning this completely straight. And that will allow you to pull this out. Now before we pulled, earlier there was two screws, screw here, screw there. So for us to remove this, we have to remove those two screws. Once you remove those, you can remove this piece and be careful because there's a gear. Oh, that one looks like mine's broken. I have to fix that. But make sure this gear doesn't fall, this little small one. Put that off to the side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loosen this screw up and loosen this one. So go ahead and I'll do that. Went ahead and removed those two screws. So now all we have to do is pull and make sure to guide it with your hand as you're pulling it out. Keep pulling. And it should come right out just like that. So I move this to the table. The next thing we have to do is remove this bracket. Once we remove this bracket, we're going to be able to access a cover right underneath, and in which we will be able to add the new developer. So for us to remove this, we're going to have to remove a C clip. That's right over here. We remove that C clip. And then after we remove this C clip, we'll go ahead and pull the gear out. And on the other side, we're gonna have to go ahead and loosen just this screw right here. And that should be able to remove everything. Also wanted to mention that one of the ways I remove this is by using a flat head and then all you got to do is you turn it and then once you turn it you should be able to remove it it's kind of hard to do with one hand I'll go ahead and do that so I was able to loosen it up to remove it just like that remove this gear and put that off to the side I went ahead and I removed that screw. So now that this screw has been removed, we can go ahead and pull the bracket towards our direction. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, demonstrate. It's just like that. Comes right off. And now that we have done that, we're, we will now be, now that we've done that, we are able to access the screw that was hidden. And all you have to do now is just loosen this guy up and remove this cover and then now you will be able to access the developer that's in here. Uh, one of the things that I do is I do wear gloves so that way none of my oils uh, contaminate the uh, developer that's inside of here. Actually I removed the screw so now what we'll 
going to want to do, we're going to want to push this plastic in this direction. We're going to push, and just like that, it shifted, and now all we have to do is remove this cover. Oh yes, I did forget to mention that before lifting this, since I got that gear out of the way, I can actually pull this entire assembly apart just like that. And then you're going to want to kind of angle it and not pull it too much because there is ground connected to the frame. So as I remove this piece, now I can remove the cover. Put this to the side. And there is our developer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dump all of this into a bag and then we're going to use the shop back and we're going to vacuum all of the excess or any toner that is left over we will go ahead and vacuum that up and that also includes down here in this area you want to watch out for this don't really want to scratch it this is why I'm wearing gloves that way my nail doesn't scratch it or anything but this is the roller the magnetized roller in which it attracts the developer this is what we're going to want to not touch especially with without gloves. You don't want to have any oils contaminating that roller. Another thing, go ahead and unscrew this. That way you can carry this without worrying about adding too much tension on the wire. And the way to do that should be self-explanatory. It should be right underneath there. Just gotta go ahead and unscrew it. I went ahead and I was able to unscrew that. One thing to watch out for is for this this metal piece because it can it can fall right off when you unscrew that it's not really held on by anything just watch out that this doesn't fall and if it falls and go ahead and make sure you put that back on another note as I was dumping the developer this shaft came off but don't worry you can go ahead and seat it back it should be fine I what I do is I hold my thumb and then I shake this into a bag to make sure I get everything off. And then whatever's left over, we can go ahead and get the shop back and vacuum the rest of it. Now what we're trying to achieve here is we want to ensure that we remove all of the old developer, including from this roller. And by doing that, you're going to have to vacuum it and rotate it with your finger in the back of this gear. And when you're rotating it, I'm rotating it through this little handle. As, oops, as you're rotating it, you want to make sure you rotate away, away from this plastic. You don't want to rotate it against it because then it can get caught, as you can see. It can get caught. See, it's getting caught a little bit there. You don't want that. You want to do the opposite direction and rotating it and vacuuming it. Rotating and vacuuming. Just like that. And keep rotating it and vacuuming. That's what it should look like after you're done vacuuming. And it is completely empty, nice and clean. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this area and then wipe down any excess toner, or rather developer, that's left over. All right. This is going to be our developer, and I already opened it, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour it, and we want to make sure it's nice and even. You don't want to have too much clumps, like in the middle or in certain areas. So, go. There it goes, come it out. Can't really see it that well. Any man. And then you can see I dumped, dumped it all in there and it's kind of filled up so now what we're going to do is we're going to start rotating the roller with our hands like I was saying down direction and as we start to rotate it it'll start catching all the new developer that's in there 
and we can see that once it's already doing one side so all we got to do is just keep going and keep adding more toner and it'll slowly get all of it so I added more developer and then we're gonna rotate it more that way we ensure it gets all the rollers you see as we're rotating it it caught pretty much filled up the entire bar I dumped the rest of the developer in here and I'm gonna go ahead and keep rotating it that way it gets nice and mixed see it's rotating it and then you're gonna kind of keep rotating it until you can see almost all of the, all of the uh, fins of this auger, it's pretty much an auger. Keep rotating it. And once we're we're done rotating it, I would say I've rotated typically about 25 times, 25 revolutions. Once that is nice and rotated, we'll go ahead and reverse all of the steps that I did at the beginning. Put it all back together and then put it in the machine. And that's it. That's how you change the developer. Not bad at all. Oh yes, before I cover it up, that's what it should look like once you rotate it about 25 times. It's going to be a little bit of a chunk there, I've noticed. But every time I shift it to the left and I rotate it by hand, it goes back and clumps up. But I feel like that's normal. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and put this cover back on. Like so. And then lock it, push it to the right, that way you can lock it. And the way you know it's nice and seated is so when you can see the hole where you need to screw that screw in. I put the screw in. The next thing we got to do is we got to put this next screw in. And remember, make sure you have that metal piece because that's what helps it ground when you screw those two together with this screw. All right, that has been screwed on. And so now we're just going to go ahead and put it back. Now you want to make sure these two little notches go inside of these two little notches right here. See that notch there? That notch there? Those two need to be inside here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I was able to put it in the notches and once you have that, it's best to put that gear back on here. That way it allow you to put the other side, this side a lot easier because if you don't put that gear and you start trying to put this side then this side is going to go ahead and just fall off so let's go ahead and put that gear back on like so and then put the, the clip back on just like that now we're going to work on this side so if you, there's this little hook you want to actually have that underneath this little black piece. And by doing that, you can go ahead and kind of turn it a little bit. I'm using my fingers to turn it down like that. And then push it in, pushing it in like that. And once it's in, I can go ahead and rotate it the other direction. You saw how it shifts. And as I do that, that little white hook goes underneath that. Little black hook, so there you go. Just go ahead and turn it. And there you go, and it locks in place. Now that you locked it in place, you can go ahead and push this piece just like that, and then put the screw in. I almost forgot <laughs> you can't just put a screw in, um, we got to put this bracket back on. And when we do that, we want to make sure that that goes inside that little slot, just like that. So, we bring it in, align it, that little hole, and then come back over here, and then make sure that pushes in, like that, and I can just push it. There you go, make sure it's nice and flush, now we're going to get our other screw screw that up 
Now once that's screwed in, this whole entire bracket can be picked up. Now one thing to keep in mind is make sure when you're carrying this to keep it leveled. Don't, you don't want to tilt it to the left, to the right, or any other direction because if you do, the developer will start seeping out through here, through here, and underneath here. So make sure, just make sure it's nice and level when you're sliding it back into the machine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this back into the machine. Oh, and obviously, another note, make sure, I, I did it with my finger, make sure not to touch that, this roller whatsoever. The best way to get rid of that is, like I said earlier, just by rotating this, that'll bring in some new, fresh developer. And there you go, it's gone. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and slide it into the 4127. So here's the piece. So wanna make sure you align it. It's kind of hard to do behind camera. So there you go. I aligned it. Make sure that this piece isn't in the way. I think by rotating it, it's kind of hard here. Wait a second. There you go. I was able to push this in. So now, last step is sliding this entire piece back into the assembly. And push it all the way in. Just like that. And then we just gotta go ahead and align it. Screw in, one and two. Now you might run into a problem where, if this is, this is out a little bit, say these wheels are rotated just a bit. If these, if these guys are down, you're not gonna be able to push this assembly in. So you're gonna want to ensure that this is all the way open. Nice, oh, focus, there you go, nice and straight, just like that. And that allows you to push it all the way in. Now all we gotta do is add the left, two leftover screws and then this piece and put everything back. So that's one screw. And second screw. Then you want to do this last piece. Make sure that little slot right there, see if you see it, that's that little little shaft right there that goes inside of this plastic housing. So make sure you align it. So you're able to push it in. You see from that angle, that should be at the bottom. Like that. So that should be the bottom so when you rotate it, it's able to lock. And now what we do, screw here, screw here. So that's one. And that's two. That's what it looks like so far. Next thing we gotta do is so we gotta drop this down, pull it out all the way, drop it down, make sure you get that wire you want to make sure you reconnect that. There's only one way to connect it. So I went ahead and connected it. And then now you want to make sure you hide the wires. Put it back in its original position. Sure we can see that. There you go. There you go, and it holds in like that. And then the next thing we got to do is push this back in here. And then we're gonna push it. And then make sure that both sides are pushed. You wanna make sure that the gear is engaged. So it's nice and pushed in. And then put the cover back on. Again, it's kinda of hard to do with one hand. And then put, Screw there, and then one in there. We'll do that now. That's one. That's two. Go ahead and get your toner. And the last thing 
putting this back on. I forgot to record it, but the last step is putting this imaging, this drum cartridge in. So you push it in, and you lock it, and then lock this, and that's it. We're done. I'm turning it on now. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Knock on wood. This is plastic, so crap. Looks like the machine booted up. Now what I typically like to do is just make a copy, about 50 sheets, just to make sure there isn't any dirt or residue left over from that change that we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, yeah, I'll do 50. There you go. And that's it for today. Works nice and good.